Wait for the top of the wave. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one. So that's 38. So we're here in the Sargasso Sea, about 14 degrees north, 53 degrees west uh, in the Atlantic Ocean. And we've sailed over from Cape Verde and over the last couple of weeks, we've been keeping a regular uh, routine of astronav, uh, mainly sunrun suns, but also some moon sites and some planet sites. And it's been really great to do a, to get into the routine of this and to do something pretty much every day. Uh, at least we did something every day while we could see the sun. Um, we had quite a few cloudy days actually, so haven't been able to do it every day. Um, but we're getting close to our destination of Martinique and um, we thought we'd just capture a little bit of video about how to do a sun run sun. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get myself into a nice comfortable position where I can easily see the sun, which is over there, and the horizon without any obstructions. Now at the moment, the boom's kind of in the way a little bit. So I'm gonna to have to shimmy down towards the camera a little bit to get a better shot. So the shades are really important because they're what protect your eyes. Now, what you have is a horizon shade, which stops the glare, but then you've got an additional shade on the horizon, which enables you to look up through the telescope directly at the sun to find the sun if you're um, drawing it down with it set to zero. On the upper mirror, you've got graduated shades to enable you to find the sun in cloud cover, um, and then also, like today, bright sunshine. So this shade here is actually quite light, and that's when the sun is behind a cloud, and you're just trying to find a disk behind the cloud. Um, for bright weather today, I'll have these two main filters on, or these two main shades. And I, what I'm gonna do, you can normally find the sun pretty easily uh, just by pointing roughly in that direction with a horizon and sliding down but one surefire way to do it is to set it to zero and look directly at the sun with your other eye closed, of course. And that's nicely shaded. I'm looking directly at the sun and they're both comfortable. As I come down now, what I can do is just flip over this extra horizon mirror and lose that because I don't need that any longer. There it is. Wait for the top of the wave. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one. So that's 38. Log is eight three two two point zero. Think about and you've got to kind of feel where you are on the wave you're actually sitting on, and you can only really take the sight when you're at the top of the wave. So actually, today is probably the hardest day to learn how to do it because it's quite bumpy. 
Megan yeah. is doing an astro navigation. Um, it is an icon. Wait till my turn. Yeah, have you got it? Because it makes the sun rest so the on the horizon. Get the sun directly on the horizon. And you can and twist the thing to make the sun go up and, and down so you can literally time. move the sun. You can't actually like move the actual sun. It's quite tricky. The reflection so of the really sun goes on the horizon the and you can bumpy. up or down. You make it to the measurement. the line of where the sun was and then you can navigate where you are with a little bit of maths. Have you got the sun still?